Rest in peace, young <clears throat> Dolph. Take a shot for Dolph, man. Take a shot for Dolph. Got you, gang. We back. We back. Five, four, three, two, one. If you're one of my babies watching, just know I said what up. If you're not one of my babies watching, and if you some nigga watching out there, understand something. That ain't your, your baby. baby. That's, That's our, our baby. baby. <laughs> We nah, back. We shout, to, clear. shout out to my boy Eric by the camera. <clears throat> we back. E, RP Dolph, man. Hold on. Let's take a moment. Damn. <laughs> that nigga Dolph a legend, bro. That's crazy. Motherfuckers get killed. <sighs> Let me take a shot for Dolph real quick. That that was crazy. That was very abrupt. At the crib smoking, getting high next to you. Know. I wasn't. Bye. Dolph did. Big Draco, nigga. Oh, me, Drake. <laughs> I think it's Soldier Boy, something else, man. Hey, we gotta stop Toxic Talk crazy today, because that nigga Soldier Boy, man. Yeah. So, um, let's do this. So, just like, what have you been up to? It's been a while, bro. We haven't recorded in a, in a yeah, little minute. It has been a while, shit. I just been up to work, man. I recently just started managing some of my best friends that are artists. Um, one of them are, is Westside Kobe, known more as King Savage, uh, Tarzan, my cousin T-Man, um, and a few others, one of my best friends, uh, Hill Mill. So he got the whole block. Yeah, Daniel, <laughs> Daniel trying to get the whole block bumping you from this. It's time to pop, man. A lot of shit going on nowadays. It's time to, it's either we're going to make it or break it, you feel me? So Understand right now, that. Get it going. Understand that. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, this casa yeah. beat. This casa beat my ass <laughs> over here burping. Nah, but that's what's up, bro. Glad that you know you making moves and all that. Yeah. Got the studio apartment that's about to be done. That should be done by the end of the month. Me and you got the little, you know, what I'm saying, and deal promotions going on. So you about to have your get your little college nights going. What you got going on? Tell them about what you got going on, big dog. Um, me and my brother Nino Sky. Shout out to bro, by the way. Uh, we've been talking about taking things back home to Union. I feel like that's always been like home for me. That's kind of where I started when I started doing promotions. And I've gotten the most love there. Kind of built some relationships with some people who still work there. So, yeah, we're going to be doing um, Thursday night, college nights there, tequila Thursdays, hosted by Nino. And then we got my boy Trigger, shout out to DJ Trigger. We got D-Mail. DJ Trig, man. D-Mail in the building. He's always been a real one, too. So, you know, it should be fun. You know, we're trying to revamp things there because, you know, they went through some rebranding stuff and they kind of, you know, I don't know. I haven't, I wasn't really doing Thursdays a lot. And so I don't really, you know, I'm just getting back out there myself. But yeah, Thursday ain't really never been a day I ever went out either. I don't really see the Thursday. See, I know motherfuckers damn near really just hit bars on Thursday. But I think that's definitely a good thing you got going on. Definitely, you know, there to help you. In any way I can, you feel me? So yeah, we gonna get shit going. Yeah, <laughs> you, you coming tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> be there tomorrow, be, be there tomorrow. You know what I? My need. schedule looking like with my artists and whatnot. So yeah, there. yeah, bring them out. <laughs> it should be out in the clubs. It's good for artists to be out in the clubs. It's good for artists to be out and um, you know, connecting with these DJs because those are gonna be the ones that get you spins. For sure, for sure. That's what they got me there for. Though. You know what I'm saying? Connect with the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And you. Well, DJs are gonna be um, DJs are gonna be more, you know, you know, lenient to play music if they got a relationship with you. They're That's facts. That definitely is facts. They gonna play it when you're not around. They gonna, you know, what I'm saying. No, so. That's for sure. That's for um, sure. <clears throat> I got you. Another time, man. R. P. Dolph. That that. Hey, play that shit again. <laughs> yeah, we These might. bitches, man, they wanna have my baby. <laughs> Wow, he spoke into existence. That's crazy. That's how it be, man. RP to J.2. Shit happened like that. 
Um, yeah, bro. Let's talk about this weather, though. This shit's wild. Actually, it's really not that wild. It's been pretty good weather. What do you think, Rick? Fuck the cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's simple enough. So, like, I, ain't, I ain't fucking with the cold either. I wish it was still boating season. You feel me? I wish we were still outside mm. riding in my broken ass boat. That's going to break <laughs> down anytime soon. <laughs> Motherfucker got something going on. Tess's I don't boat. know what's going on. Our boat. That's what he told you? <laughs> 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 me and Tazzy, we just started clicking back with each other. You know what I'm saying? We ain't been, f- that's why we ain't been recording. <laughs> we don't want to work. <laughs> fucking with Tazzy. Back on the seat. You know, Tazzy. My boy. I'm just happy 50, this 50. Mo- We damn near the 50 boys We the new 50 boys Yeah fuck 12th street right 50 boys Fuck the 12th street man Um no but I think the weather's been pretty nice Um I mean bro It hasn't really been anything Drop 30 like It hasn't really been cold There's no snow It's damn near December already We This is one of our favorable winters Obviously No snow We just had snow What snow <laughs> That's not snow here <laughs> yeah. Snow is four. <laughs> Three, four, or five inches on the ground and can't drive. Like, nah, I hear you. It's coming though. You know it's coming. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably get a late heavy winter. Like, we'll probably get a bad winter like mid January through like end of March, April, yeah. where there'll be like snow and stuff like that. So, whatever. It's been good. Uh, good weather. Getting dark really fast though. Um, what do you think about that? I hate when it gets dark fast because then you never know what time of the day it is. You know what I'm saying? Be in the house, it gets dark. You think it's like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, it's only 6.30. Yeah, that's throwing me off. It can definitely fuck with you. Let's talk a little bit about mental health. We could do that. Let's do a quick shout out real quick, though. Let's, uh, shout out Casamigo. Shout out Puffco. Um, we sell this glass in my smoke shop out in Burnsville. It's called Savage Smoke Shop. Shout out to them. Um, shout out to White Claw. We love the claws. The biggest um, claws. Northern Chill. Shout out to them. And who else do we have to give a shout out to? We got shout our out to the whole sponsor. Water Wave Network. Pull Sweet up and buy some merch. Um, recently, Water Wave actually just had a donation. It was a donation of fifty percent off too, or something like that. Um, what's the, what's the <coughs> specifics on that? If you, can, you can get in detail. We had a sale. Um, I'm not sure about the proceeds or how that worked. Eric could probably speak more on that. Let's get you speaking on that real quick, big dog. Well, yeah, we did a one-year anniversary sale for our store um, at 1521 Como Avenue Southeast. We just surpassed one year on November 14th, so now we're just over one year of opening up our congratulations, store. Congratulations, congratulations. Yeah. Into, into the applause. <laughs> <laughs> that one applause he did, that was funny. Yeah, um, that's definitely nice <coughs> to let you guys but, um, But, yeah, speaking of donations and stuff, we're actually... We have a few donation things in the works. I know uh, we're ha- we're doing a toy drive soon okay. for before the holidays. Um, this cameraman, um, dang, I'm blanking on his name right now. He's a very he shoots a lot of films in Minneapolis. Um, Is that Andre Adrian Wilson? He's doing a toy drive, and he asked us to like put a box in our store, so we're doing that soon. And then. I think we're trying to get some blanket stuff going, right? Yeah, I want to do a blanket drive um, ever since last year, and it's the perfect time to do it. Um, You know, the jacket stuff. People do jacket, shoe, toy drives. I don't know anybody who's ever done a blanket drive. You know, if I was homeless, I would want a blanket. So I think we're going to maybe collab with um, our boys uh, on our own. They were on the show. It's episode two. If you want to go watch that, good friends of ours, good guys over there. Shout out um, to our own. Shout out to those boys. So, yeah, that's that's uh, what's in the works for that. You know, I'm trying to give back. I like I like the feeling, and I've always liked to help out and stuff like that. So, I'm like I'm very interested in that. Yeah, I'd definitely be interested in doing something like that too. I love giving back. That's definitely. I never. That's one thing I miss about uh, warm weather: being able to like barbecue. You know what I'm saying? There's a few times I barbecued and went and gave out food to the homeless. Some of them niggas be picky though. They, is that pork or beef? <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry or not, bro? <laughs> bro I had, like three homeless people asking me in the middle, like, man, all y'all stone? Y'all damn you're asking me pork beef. Like, nigga, eat, motherfucker. Be grateful. <laughs> oh, you're you know? stupid. Here on site. There we are, but yeah, I miss miss the summer for that reason, for sure. Giving out. Being able to do stuff like that. We're going to go to Idol really quick. I'm going to go live. But while we're going Idol, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to, um, the Armory. 
and B Rich and all those boys over there, they've been going crazy, keeping the city lit very much so in the last few months. We've had some fucking Definitely fire have. people come here. And shout out to the um, Minnesota in general, you know. God damn, sorry. Shout out to uh, Minnesota fans and um, concert girls in general, um, showing love to these artists, making sure that they, you put a good name on the city, making sure that they want to come back and do another show. I think everybody who's came here, I know Trippy Red posted his concert here. St. John was here last night. Pretty, sure, I think he had a good time here. Just, you know, it says a lot about the city when you actually go out and get rowdy and have a good time. You Most know? Definitely. So one sec, I'm trying to go live here. <coughs> Here you go, <coughs> Ricky. Go live for like thirty minutes. But um, speaking of so, what, while we're talking about some concerts, um, <clears throat> what do you think about this Trevor Scott controversy? Like, that's so interesting, bro. All right. Um, first, I'm gonna speak on what we started on talking about earlier when we were talking about it. Um, first off, I don't think there should be young kids allowed at that type of concert. Secondly, parents. Why would you even feel comfortable dropping your kid off somewhere like like a Rolling Loud? You know what I'm saying? Like even if I was even born with my kid, loud. you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't be trying to bring my kid to something like that. Even I would wait till you're like 18 or 17. I understand when I was young, I was already doing shit what I wanted to do. You feel me? Right. But for the protection of your kid, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not dropping my eight year old kid off at a festival. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm not gonna put all the blame on Travis Scott, but. The event organizers should have also had the younger kids in the younger in a different area. You know what I'm saying? All the young kids together, all the VIP together, and then the guest admission that's of age or higher age all together. So that's bad organizing. That's that is bad organizing on whoever signed that, who did that, Epic or whoever. That's Live Nation. Live Nation, yeah, that's bad organizing. But um, yeah, as parents, I wouldn't even let my kid go there. So. Yeah, um, rest in peace to those kids though, and everybody who died in that. That's a sad, sad situation. Rest in peace for sure. My take is like the same as you. I just like when I seen that, I didn't understand at all um, how there were like kids of that kind of age there at all. Um, I agree. Definitely shouldn't have had kids like like dude. Nine nine years old is very young. I don't think people understand how young. Oh, young is there's hell. that is so small. Like that like that's. I just can't even. Like, what is that? Second grade or something? Like, a second grader at Astro World? Like, Rolling Loud is one thing, but Astro World, you know, they're built different, bro. bro like, there's people like, off drugs and everything there, bro. I'm not dropping my kid so, off the area like that. Excuse me. Um, the other hot take is, or the other side of it is, um, excuse me, um, Travis and him not stopping the show. Now, I did listen to a spoke person or one of them uh, speak on it, and they were like, in like the 62 page um, briefing or however it was structured, um, there was only two people who were like legally could stop the show. Well, one of them was like some event coordinator, and then one of them was some other title that isn't Travis Scott. So, I mean, when it goes down in court, because he's facing like 750 mil, I think he. I, I don't think I don't see a lot of, I don't see him losing a lot of it to be honest. Yeah, I mean, like I said, well, I just don't see him losing that because he, kids that young of age should be getting watched and even cuz there's like there's people our age who died. There's right, and I'm going to say died. I mean, not just but the kids, but like everyone. Kids, so, but at the same time, it's just bad organizing and Mm, it's just it's not a good situation it's yeah. all bad you know like, but like what do you think about the people who are saying it's like demonic like shit, rituals and all no. I, I let me believe, see about i ain't gonna lie i believe that simpson shit so they had some shit that ha that people say they had and then they showed this before i ain't gonna lie bro i believe into a, a lot of shit i mean simpsons spirits, don't like, really miss but I definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm very, I'm woke. I like to consider myself woke. I don't know if anybody out there, whoever's watching, likes to consider themselves woke. And I'm not blind to the fact that when there are too many co coincidences, I mean, you can't be blind to it unless you just want to literally believe your own view. You don't, if if you're closed-minded, you will always ignore some facts or some things that are just, you know, you can't ignore. But right, right. If you actually open to learning and and thinking about, it, I mean, it's, it doesn't take that much either. In certain cases, this is something that's like, damn. Like personally, it's like, damn. I honestly, I'm very like torn about it. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, he definitely was on some weird. Like I got a weird vibe watching the video when I was watching him fucking hum when they carried that person out. I was like, oh right. my. God. He did a ritual. <laughs> that shit was aggressive. Bro, that shit's that? weird, bro. That's a lot of. He weird definitely stuff, watched someone. But uh, a nine-year-old is on average a fourth grader. A fourth. Thank Fact. you for clarifying. Fact. Thank you. Fourth um, grade. What it was that concert? Did that concert have an age limit or no? I'm guessing not. If there was a nine-year-old. Yeah, but they but did they crash. They like did crash the gate. Guardian, like, oh, like, like was he allowed to be? That's there? what we were saying earlier. Because he, he could have snuck in. Because they crashed still, the gate. How the fuck is a nine-year-old sitting outside of a outside of a festival waiting to break in? You Maybe he, he like, probably lived down the street. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, I, it's not I, that. I, 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 bro, I think about it. it think like about it. You, you, we've all had badass cousins before. Like his cousin could have bought him a ticket or some shit, or he could have just went with his cousin. Like, oh, bring me to it, Travis Scott. He's like, oh yeah, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, and his cousin dumb as hell for doing that shit with him, not keeping an eye on him. So I don't know. I'm gonna say that, it, it, bro. Them kids should not be allowed and shit like that, bro, without, like, their parents. And even oh, 100%. That, like, your parents, I wouldn't even feel comfortable bringing my kids to something like it that. Said, it's just, like, not that serious. W- were you saying there was a nine-year-old that got hurt or a nine-year-old he that died? died. He like, died. Was yeah. that? Yeah, because I, I... This is the most recent one, I think. Yeah, he just passed. Yeah. Damn, that so it was... Because, yeah, yeah, I know the original was, like... No way, I'm sending my kid off. Yeah, like both. I just, for, there was, like, a 13-year-old. Yeah, bro, I just imagine, bro, and I'd be out rolling loud, bro, and niggas be stepping on me and shit. Shoving a nigga off me, you feel mm-hmm. me? So imagine you a little ass kid, you nine, bro. So yeah, that's big ass 13. nigga step on you. you that's disturbing. On me, but that shit's not cool, bro. Yeah, bro. But I just had to, I just had to touch on that. We won't spend too too much time on that. If you guys got some comments on there, I guess you can drop them in there. I don't know what they're saying or whatever, but you know, like I said, thoughts and prayers go out to those families. That's crazy. Fresh. That's actually fucking nuts if you think about it. it is nuts. That's nuts, bro. Not a lot of people died like that large of a quantity at one time like that's like some some like mass shoot like if someone were to go and shoot th- four people that's like right now that's less than people did like at the concert like i don't know that's fucking nuts yeah, there's just a, also a lot of shit we don't hear about that goes on in the world absolutely you know it's not the craziest thing but it's definitely like well it's kind of eye-opening for facts but let's talk about this stuff. Let's talk about some mental health stuff because it wasn't just it was just mental men's mental health month last last month I I believe Eric am I am I tweaking <coughs> or I think I'm correct he's Eric is gonna be like our fact checker maybe for because he's kind of been on it but if even if it's not it's just something I would say it's time about June right? June June is men's mental health month okay yeah, so I've like, seen a lot of people posting about yeah, like men's I, was, awareness but I don't know but anyway uh, question is uh, I have for you is like have you ever been de- depressed or and or? Wait, maybe I, I don't. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yep. The first thing I said was June is Men's Mental Health Month, but then the next article is November is Men's Health Month. So maybe health versus mental health. <sighs> oh, okay. That's probably what I've been saying. Men's but health, not mental health. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. So have you ever been depressed or suicidal? Never been suicidal, but definitely depressed. Whoa, it's not funny. Oh what? I don't know. It's just like you know how he like laughed about it, like like what the fuck? Like he all, he made uh, the he made the smirk because it's such a far thought from what he. he it could. it was aggressive. It's just where I'm at, I guess, in life. I, That's I fine. Remember. I think I'm not gonna sit here and all right. So suic- doing suicide to me is kind of very selfish. I would rather listen to your story and try to help you out, even if we're not close. Or I'm pretty sure somebody else wouldn't want to listen to your story or hear you out instead of you taking your own life and affecting and, and changing like. A lot of other people's lives that you actually know. So, suicide. I'm a. I got friends who did it, and I think it's selfish. So I'm gonna leave that at that. But um, I would never. I never thought about committing suicide. I definitely de- been depressed about my friends dying, and stuff like that. But suicide, nah. That's not one thing. Like, I think that's kind of very of a selfish thing actually. To do. I, I'll say yeah. I've been depressed. Um, you know, actually recently I was in a really bad place. To be honest, you know talk about it. it's like easy it's not that hard to it's not that hard to get into i feel like you know it depends on your situation but it's like there's definitely levels of it you know what i mean mm-hmm. but being able to recognize it is I mean, a blessing you know what i mean types of depression you can be depressed about a girl you can be depressed about where you're at in life just in general being depressed just general, is a different you know type what of I'm saying? um most of my depressions definitely came from like girl situations <laughs> but um 
I'm sorry. It's weird because I'm kind I'm of sorry. a it's kind of a suck away too. Like I didn't been through a lot of shit where I could be really depressed. Like my mom has made me depressed a lot of times, and she let me down in certain situations. But mainly, like girl, like girlfriends left me depressed. Like I'm like, damn, and it'd be my fault. That's what's crazy. Like I'm the one doing what I'm doing or whatever. But like I'm sad about it later on or something. It's like weird. It's like clinches on. Me. Yeah, I feel you on that. Girls will definitely get you. I'm gonna just say that they would definitely get you. Yeah, get yourself. Because uh, you, I feel like when you're in a relationship, you you just start, you just care, like what, like you just, you, they get you a certain type of angry that no one else can get you angry. Like for some reason, at least to me, that's how I felt. Like it's like, but as far as like the suicidal thing, I'll I'll say yeah, I've been like kind of suicidal before. Like I had like. Not like a super struggle that's with crazy it. That you say, like, I know you was just a little bit of crazy. Like you one of them crazy. Like I'm crazy. I want to rip a nigga head off. You crazy? Like yeah, I'll rip a nigga head off. But nigga, we will both go down ripping each other's head off. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that's, that's why I can see that. See you saying that, and I don't mean that in, like no bad way. That's a Scorpio but, thing, though. You know that? Did you know that though? What, that suicide? No, not suicide, but like we would rather. I think I take think there's some. Out I think there's something that says I'd rather take me out than someone else take me out, or some something like that. Or no, maybe it's like kind of how you described it. But mm-hmm. if you look it up, I dude, I don't know my wife. I'm kind of trying to fact check on my own, but for sure. What yeah, but yeah, I would just say like You're if anybody, <laughs> if anybody out there is like just dealing with that kind of stuff, like yeah, pretty much how Tori said. Like I do see the selfish side of it. I've had a. Uh, a family member and other people kind of go through that kind of stuff and you know it's it's not easy you know just i mean all the all the advice that you can kind of give if you don't actually know someone personally it's always going to sound cliche but it's more universal than cliche you know what i mean like you're not alone like you know just there's it, people there for you at all times man even though like it might not be open to your eyes or right in front of you it's literally right in front of you like you just Sometimes. gotta be able to be open Like a lot of people Who do stuff like that Just like Some of them are quiet Some of them would be people You least expect But it's like There's someone always there And like I hate especially like When people who got kids Or like so, uh, Something like that That do it It's just like <laughs> Casa B me, Casa B me It's like the worst time too <laughs> Like damn What's wrong with the nigga <laughs> But nah It's like People who got kids And stuff man It's like Just keep pushing bro Like you got yeah. You got more stuff To you live more, for Yeah you got more To live for man, I feel that And be worried About the moment You at right now And not everything Gonna always be okay One day You know what I'm saying It's gonna take It might take a decade It might take months It might take days Some people Grow off in hours You know what I'm saying yeah. It could be one thing You do So <clears throat> Yeah, no, it's stay tough. Strong, um, yeah, stay strong out there. It's a stick to family. It's getting dark early. Try to get to your family. Try to take out a new hobby. Um, excuse me. Go do whatever you want to do. Just that's that's what I would go do. Like if you if you just felt like you had nothing to lose, just go fucking try to go do some. Go go for some. Just start going for every bad bitch you see. <laughs> like just fuck it. What do you got to lose? Like that's what I. That's like that's what I do. Like honestly. But yeah, we're just sending good vibes out there, everybody. It's getting dark early. It's getting cold. It's getting lonely. Um, so good vibes, everybody. You know, we're sending hearts, kisses, all that. Um, on that note, R. P. Dolph again. It's a crazy day, low key. He's actually a legend, dog. So, show, sure, bro. There's one person I went to college with, bro. He loved Dolph. His name's Steve. Uh, a lot of white boys Steve love Smith, Dolph, bro. bro. Like he honestly, like, he from a uh, he from. Damn, where is he from? Racine, Wisconsin, bro. For Dove. Shout out to my boy Steve. He actually rapping right now. I wish I could. His name is Smith the Wizard. Yeah, don't look, don't pull him up. <laughs> He's talking about don't pull him up. But all right, dog, let's um, let's switch up the vibes. First of all, we're glad to be back. <sighs> so fucking glad to be back. Shout out to my boy Rick, man. Bearing with us. Woo woo. <laughs> Fuck, honestly, putting that mic on the side was the best thing we it's ever did. It's a little did. warm in here. Is it just the casa? Yeah, it's warm, dog. I feel like it's the casa hoodie. I know. Because I was not hot when it's we first got it. definitely the casa. It is warm, though, the heat is on. Yeah, let's get to some more toxic shit. Yeah, I got you. What's you know what I'm saying? Right, let's, see, let's see what's on that notebook right there. Let's oh, see what's working on that. I know you got some heat I was on getting hot as fuck, Rick. <laughs> I was wait. I was like, you take that hat off, boy. What's wrong with your hair? I ain't taking shit off. <laughs> I've been wearing this hat all day. I got hat hair. Hey, niggas get hat hair too, B. All right, let's talk about this, bro, because this has actually been a little different around here lately. The sh- the scene has completely changed. Power has switched over. Like for real though, in the summer, like you think about it, like it's so 
promoters i think people underestimate promoters and their value like they really do because it goes to show i mean it just does like you take you take away something out of the equation let's say i don't know it's it's like tough to say what i'm trying to say but like pretty much like the scene has pretty much changed i'm just gonna leave it at that i'm not gonna do too much um seven has been they've been doing their shit on what what thursdays sundays i th- I, I don't really go there on fridays or saturdays or whatever Man, i ain't gonna lie i ain't been going there at all because they ask be tripping bro <laughs> if i there with somebody who got a table if i ain't got a table bro forty dollars to get in this shit is not that bro i fuck with you <laughs> i don't pay like, yeah, you don't pay. I don't pay sometimes, most of the time. But no, I feel though. That, I mean, but be, that's a whole meal. Like that just throws everything off. Like you walking in with your crew, blah blah, forty dollars. Are we in fucking Miami? Like where the fuck are we at right now? We at seven. We in Minnesota. It's damn near cold up there. And you charging <laughs> forty dollars? We trying to just eat or something? Like I don't know. I fuck with it, but I feel you know. No, that's I a gotta good make point. A call. Hey, you got a tape? Come get me, folks. Oh, hey, yeah. Ray. Tell them the, I'm good. Like, the fucking cover, uh, the cover is a little steep, but you know people figure like they're like, you know you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Fuck, fuck off, and they stand on the ground and I'm good. Sh- I don't care if I got it or not. Forty dollars. I know. I'm just saying while they how they look at it. I still, you know, I still fuck with who I fuck with there. So that's what that is. I'm just giving them. I'm just, I'm just telling people what the scenes been like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck with them, but it, it be popping there, but bro, that shit's dead. I ain't well, you letting the people know, cause some people don't know. A lot of people, you know, some people don't go out like that. You know what I mean? So, um, Union kind of switched over. They did that rebrand at the end of the summer, and things haven't really been the same since, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, we didn't stop there going. We didn't stop going there on purpose. We just kind of cut off the days we used to go there in general. We used to go there on Thursdays and Sundays, and then we cut off Thursdays and Sundays because we were going out. Doing way too much of this. Yeah, I was really only going on Sundays, anyways. Um, you did some Thursdays and some Fridays and some Saturdays with us. We were going to Union a lot because it was just all reliable, and they had a good like it was actually all reliable. I remember hitting them on Sundays for show sure every Sunday, <laughs> Thursdays. But maybe I was there a couple times. Drunk as hell or something. Do I need to pull up some receipts? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, pop that shit up right. <laughs> Scrolling through the Snapchat. No, nah, but yeah, no, nah, I miss those days. That was fun. Uh, exchange has been pretty much, pretty much, pretty much most consistent as far as like that the day that they shoot for it, which is Saturday. They've been pretty consistent for like the last year and a half. Christ. They're like, always consistent, like always on some type of body. I you mean, know what he's doing. That's why you know what he's doing, and also they just you know they I don't know they don't they don't change too much. They don't do too much. They do renovations. They've done they've done their renovations. And they don't change too much. They don't fix what's not broken. Sometimes people try to do too much, and then that's when you're like, okay. Well, we're people, talking about union. Well, we're talking about exchange, exchange at the right end. Oh, exchange is fire. Yeah, they don't change too much, and they and they just keep renovating and keep. You know what I mean? Shout out to. I sh- think exchange. The only thing I wish exchange was a little bit different was like the DJ setup. I know they've kind of bounced back and forth between that like corner spot and like where like those VIP tables are. Uh huh. But it's just like, I mean, the DJ doesn't necessarily need to be a, an, an attraction, but I feel like <coughs> it is kind of cool when it's like, like you can look up and see the DJ doing his thing with some. Yeah, he's hit. I see. Him he's hidden. Like you know, that. I get what Instead you're saying. Instead of just being like in the cut, like you don't know where this guy's at. You know, I, 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 I like I like how it, like they have the best DJ booth though. Like how it has the whole back bar. It's got the whole. It's, yeah, got, it's the got the whole, whole like section. setup and it's like the glass and like. Like Union, they're like on the full, like whatever, unless they put their stage up and shit. I mean, granted, that's literally we we all agree we don't Union really care about that. Sh- huh? Union, the only, <laughs> Union's vibes are great. It, I just wish there was a be- like it, if it was like double the size, like how Crave, like if it was like the size of Crave. What do you? I guess yeah, Crave is a little bigger. Like, but if they extended, just be crowded with the VIP. Imagine if they there. extended the VIP tables out, out like you know where those tables are where we were last yeah, time. On the top of Crave, yeah. Oh, you haven't? Oh, he missed the Cray Fridays. Me and Keith used to do the Cray Fridays a couple years ago. Bro. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Bussing. Crave used to bust. Crave used to bust. And yeah, that was I mean, when we were all was... just hitting the scene. We were all fresh. 
It was good. It was a good time, bro. Fresh phone Shout bill. out to Keith. Crave that was fun. Back. What's up with Crave? Well, they started I mean, Sebastian. Now, Sebastian, but... who was a uh, GM at um, Union now, um, he had went to start running Crave, and he started doing um, Latina nights there, mm. which was I heard that they used to be busing. I guess, but I'm not Latina. <laughs> but nah, some of my homies like give me some bad little Latinas there. You could like slide. I'm like, shit. I'm not just gonna go because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, the fuck, you know, you know, all Latinas got girlfriends anyway. Okay. I mean, boyfriends, and they um, they remember high school. Like, I don't know about your high school, my high school. Latinas dated Mexican dudes. Like, they dated each other. Asians dated each other. Yeah. Like, I was, <laughs> I was definitely Johnson too when I went there. Like, I feel like mine was a lot of mixed. Really? Yeah. We had like, I mean, the like. Not minorities, but like I mean, blacks did the blacks too, I guess. But you know, yeah. So I went niggas to, are for everybody, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I went to three different high schools. So like Woodbury, different dot, colors, dot. different colors, dots for sure. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Um, Sibley, definitely different colors. They different colors. Rick, how's the live doing? It was like Mexicans date Mexicans, Asians date Asians, black blacks. One damn near no whites. <laughs> Tastes good We need to get some happy dads Yeah we need to get some happy dads If you're watching this right now Kyle please fuck with us Fuck with me I really want to try those Me and Tori going to Arizona They Minnesota So they gotta ship them I know that's what I'm saying Me and him are going to Arizona In the next couple weeks anyway What you gotta do is go to Arizona And make a video of you like Quit drinking White Claws Like you smash the White You get the White Claw box You throw it on the ground You stomp them out And then you start drinking a happy dad And be like at White Claw, since you weren't you weren't actually providing me with shit, I'm moving over. I now milk. For Honestly, you. bro, they've been treating me pretty bad. <laughs> so you should fake break your. Well, teeth. they don't. They haven't treated me bad, but they used to like. Well, they still like. They don't open my mind all my shit. They still follow me though, so I still love them. I still they hold me down. Bro, bro, care package. Bro, you they should still hold me down. Break your tooth opening it. And you're like, too sorry, bro. Well, bitch, you just gave it away now. This thing is a crackhead. <laughs> and my tooth fixed, what you mean? Nah, we gotta get it fixed. For sure. The mic hide my shit <laughs> very <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, really? Did someone probably call me? Yeah, go ahead, bro. You good. How was it doing? Was it? Yeah. How many motherfuckers in there? My babies. <laughs> um, let me fix this really quick. While we got a break, man, quick shout out to my boy Jay Padnoid and the boys over there. Um, they got some fun. They got Doing some the scamming. Yeah, no, no, they got some really fucking interesting stuff over there. Yeah, like I was watching that, that was actually I'm telling you right now, this shit is very interesting. If you ever been a part of I am, it's not I am. It is like kind of. Some of the same kind of principles, maybe, like as far as how learning goes in the program, but it's crypto automation as well as a bunch of other cool shit. Like I don't like. I only heard it for like about five dude, minutes. Dude, it's it's it actually really cool, really and I'm not even really like cool. I'm not even on board yet, but I definitely will be tapping in 100. percent So check out my boys, J Pad Node, um, Josh and Munson, um. Even that other little nigga Taylor Deedens, I guess. But yeah, tap in with them. Um, if you're looking to learn how to do crypto, um, crypto automation, which is you know hands off, they will pretty much your portfolio is like you have control over it at all times. But they're like, you know, constantly investing, in whatever, putting money, you know, mm-hmm. growing your profile, your uh, portfolio for you, whatever. Check out with those boys over there, eh? I Genius, I think that's what it's called. Um, <clears throat> fix this live really quick. Uh, Rick said my shit was buzzing. Duh. <laughs> TZ bands. <laughs> you want to go live again on Instagram? Was it buzzing no, like that? It's just exclusive. They got to watch the whole thing on YouTube now. Was it buzzing like that? That's how it go. Was it buzzing? How long we in? How much we in? We're at like 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. We buzzing. We good. I, I actually have, got. I have a toxic question. Okay. Um. So let's say. Go ahead and say your you, name, you, little bro. <laughs> Hi, I'm John, uh, 13 from Ken Ho- Ken Middle School. Yeah. So let's say that you're dating a girl for like three years, right? It's your baby. 
no one else can touch her right you in love but you got a celebrity crush right and she said it's okay you can you can fuck your celebrity crush I'm beaten but I get to fuck my celebrity crush <laughs> do you you get the what <laughs> do you I told her to put down crush? the pipe <laughs> Put down you, the fucking you pipe and fuck, and fuck your celebrity crush, knowing that your baby, the girl you in love with, <laughs> I'm gonna tell her is no. gonna get piped down by fucking <laughs> the baby. Let's, yeah, hold on, hold on, some, you know. Hold on, hold on. We said it. Let's crush, go. Though, right? This girl, this girl who I'm talking to is just a crush. No, the girl you're talking to, you've been together for years. It's your baby. You love her, but you will get. She she said you can. Uh-huh. So imagine your celebrity crush, whoever it is, you get to fuck her. But she also gets to fuck her celebrity crush, so it could be anyone from. I'm gonna say yeah, you know, if her whoever. celebrity crush the same as my celebrity crush, and it's a girl. Mm. So what the fuck is yeah, wrong? Yeah, so we both fucking the same. What bitch. the Whenever fuck? I mean, crush I mean, is like, but her celebrity crush is most likely like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No, nah, like, it's nah, definitely my girl. Like, not gonna want no big thing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. no, no, I that nigga know. big. It's gonna be some big ass too. That's gonna. I'm be gonna make sure good. my girl who I date for years ain't like it though. Like that, she gonna like her a Tory, <laughs> a nigga with money. <laughs> let's assume it's at least a male gender. <laughs> hey, we all get money. Let's assume so it's at least that, a human saying. being. <laughs> that is going to <laughs> penetrate her, not because I don't yes. want to say males. I'm gonna say this motherfucker work good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, somebody crush is mine and shit. If we not doing that, then nah, we good. Then move my glasses while I say it too. Like, <laughs> yeah, if it's not her, yeah, nah, it's... we good. I don't need no. New, uh, new I'm gonna go ahead and say, f- you gonna pass on fucking your dream celebrity crush? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, honestly, I don't really have a dream girl I want to fuck because there's too many of them. I won't fuck them all. As far I mean, like all my dream dream girls, not like every girl. <laughs> I sound like a horn biscuit. <laughs> nah, no, there's a lot of who is your celebrity? Who are you? Who, who would be your guy's celebrity? Crush? I don't know. Sansa it's, from it's fucking. Gotta be like one girl. No. Like, oh my god. <sighs> I sound so like, pricked. There's so many. I don't even want. to I sound so freaked out. I said, "Oh my Definitely god!" Definitely be a milf. That's how you know you're going. That's how you know you want to die for it when you do that reaction I just did. <laughs> Trey songs pulled the do rag oh. off. Hey, hey, Eric, please put that clip in right here. Jackson, put that clip. You know when he's right here and he's like ripping his do rag. <laughs> That's how you know you're ready to die for it. <laughs> He say, ain't no telling where we could have been. <laughs> no, actually, let's get it. Like, we talked about some, like, I want to start off on some serious notes. There was some good shit to talk about. Again, I repeat, Dolph, but. Can we play that one more time? You got that? Like, really yes, cool. we can. Just because I want to. Not because you asked. But um, let's slide into some other shit, though. Um, Play that let's let's do some fun shit like some some toxic shit. They want to hear they want to hear us say stuff that they're scared to say on the air. Get to the topic already. They gonna play the doll for us. I mean, they gonna know how to do that. Come on, just skip to the next topic. Who are you talking to? They gonna know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, now just give me a second. Doll just passed. Y'all mind your business. Hey, yeah. Uh, if you don't want to hear us, skip like fifteen seconds right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. That was that just fired me up. <laughs> Dolph is really <laughs> Dolph <laughs> really gets me going, shit bro. Gets you know what's crazy? Everything. Like I cannot make this shit up. I was talking to um Bro, one of my white boys, I don't even remember, one of my my good buddies, we were together and we were like I only said I only said that because I told you my white friends love fucking Dolph. Like, they were devastated, bro. No, nah, I know some white kids that love Dolph. And uh, we were talking about this, like, I, sh- I kid you not, like, a week ago. And I was like, bro, Dolph is, like, I was like, Dolph is actually cold as fuck. Like, I literally think I just downloaded his, like, old shit, like, his cold shit from, like, back in the day. Because I haven't listened to him in a while. And then, like, this shit happens, bro. Like, it's just, that shit's just so tragic, bro. Yeah. Spread the love. Stop, stop, stop the violence. But next on Chicago's ninety five point three, we got Lil Dirk. Shoot them back niggas. In- <laughs> 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 he 
<laughs> it's so stupid. No, I take tag so. <laughs> um, I bro, let me ask you this. <laughs> do you think so? Do you think a majority of girls peak in high school? I want Eric to answer first. I think the girls that peaked in high school or okay, because you don't know they peaked in high school until after high school, so that's right. not valid. The girls that are the attractive ones in high school, the pretty ones in high school, the ones that. Ever, all the other girls want to be and all the guys want to date most likely end up being the ones that get fat and that's or pregnant what what did we say or pregnant what did we, that what did we say earlier fat? because i wouldn't say they peaked in high school because if you peaking in high school it seemed like it's a very very hard statement like you can tell me like when you bro like a lot of bitches do, like, peak what, in high school if you dog. peaked in high school yeah. mentally like, too sure. if you're like 25 and you're saying same that you're and you're saying that you me, were at a better be you're at a better place in the whole scheme of life at 18 than you are at 25. Like that's that's kind of crazy. I but think about it. But okay, I do, think, I do think the good looking girls do that that were like the hot shit in high school end up not being the hot shit outside of high school. That's a fact. And the girls that that's were laying fact. low that were like low key baddies but didn't talk their talk and walk their walk. They just did, did, did they school work and. Probably had one little boyfriend, like geeky boyfriend that yeah, was smart as that fuck. Now they end up being the Facts. baddest ones. And thick. I definitely think that. No, I'm gonna hold niggas accountable like a, too as well. A lot of nigga, uh, most niggas peak in high school, hundred percent. And they think, see, that's the thing though. That's what happens. Like, you know what I mean? But, um, I'll let Tori answer before I ask the next little sub question. Answer what do you what? like? You agree that you know most girls peak in um, high school? Yeah, I know some girls that I've seen from high school. Remind you, I went to three different high schools, so I know a lot of girls Whore. who peaked in high school are still bad, even though they had babies. I be seeing them like now, nah, like, okay, you a milf? I probably still take that motherfucker down. Nah, I ain't gonna cap, but um, there's definitely a lot of girls who weren't like didn't peak in high school, like were just like kind of cute. And I peeped a little cute girls. You feel me? I date a little cute girl because I know what that can turn out to be. So mm-hmm. I was already peeping the little cute girls. The low key, low cute ones is what was always been there. And they don't like too many niggas. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. They don't want to go out. They just quiet, kick back, go. Hey, home. shout out to the lo- little low key so cute, cute joints. Low key joints. Low cause cute joints. Because a, a lot of them still low key, low cute. I mean, I need to. I'm gonna text my ex. <laughs> We just sparked some interest, bro. Doing. So wait, where my dog at? So wait, all right. When did, like, you, Ricky, well, do you think you peaked yet? Hell no. Nah. Do you think you peaked? I'm peaking. Sure. I think, bro. I'm funny, go. Uh, bro, I'm funny, be. I don't know. It's like, bro. As long as you keep putting your foot on the gas, bro, you are gonna go as far as you want to go. So it's like, just a small disclaimer. We are very body body positive out here, and that kind of leads into the next thing I wanted to talk about. It's like. You know, being comfortable in your body and shit. It's like, okay, like, I just wanted to ask a question. I like, I don't want to offend anybody, but at the same time, I do, like, okay. <laughs> like, mind your business, bro. You're not offending anybody unless they take offense themselves. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm you're just, just like, I just had to get them out there. Like, I'm, I am, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm a respect. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. I don't really care if I offend, like, okay, nigga, turn it off. But. Anyway, I'm just saying, like, okay, so people who are, like, bigger or whatever, like, I just wanted to see if you guys thought that you could ever, like, be comfortable with that. Like, you know how people just, like, let it go and just be like, all right, fuck it, I'm fat. Like, I don't care about fat jokes. Like, I'm cool with my body. Like, that's cool and all, by the way. I'm just saying, like, I don't think I could ever, like, there's a point where you transition. Some people have have grown up like that. Like, they've been fat since, like, elementary, middle school, and it's, like, never really had a chance unless they did some hardcore Biggest Loser shit. Then there's people who, like, literally, like we said, get from high school go. And then, like, there's one day that I know they look in the mirror around, like, 200. And they're like, damn. Like, fuck it. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't, I ain't never, like, made fun of none of my fat friends or fat people for fat jokes. I think mainly it's because my grandpa's always been, like, big and he always looked like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never found no, like, fat nigga jokes or nothing like that. Or if, like, if I did say some shit, like, they know, like, it's out of love. Like, I'm just playing, like, type shit. But right, no, I yeah. never, like, got on somebody ass, like, oh, yeah, like, you're fat. Some shit like that. <laughs> like, that shit lame as hell. Because, like, <laughs> 
I don't know. It's like everybody play their role. So like I played sports oh, no, no, growing up. It's just it's just like <laughs> it's it big. Be on the line. You feel and me? We, that's and, that's the soldiers. Really, you feel me? Yeah. That's my big homie. You know what I'm saying? You got, got a problem? You gotta deal with fat folks. You feel me? Fat folks <laughs> go pull up on you. You go handle the business. My fat folks with Sinbad. You want to play with Sinbad? You go pull up on you handle that business. You feel me? So I don't know. It was like yeah. You can't I really never, like, make fun, fun of fat people because they know they fat. They see that themselves and in like the mirror a lot of fat people that's what be I was funny, asking. bro. Like a lot of fat people are funny as hell. Get your, they don't got a. Ch- no, nah, like, <laughs> I'm dead ass. Fat people be funny. Wait, as should hell. I? My do you think I should included. go live on Facebook? Do what you want to do, brother. Do you think so? <laughs> no, I don't either. Okay, I got too many. I don't <laughs> know. Costume. It's just weird. Worry, just worry about the podcast you record. You're right. My bad. I'm sorry about that. I love all the people that would love us. I'm gonna call y'all fans. I'm gonna call y'all family. We happy to be back. We're gonna be more consistent. I think we talked about doing like stacking episodes on top of each other. Let's record two tonight. Please. Um. Yeah, I'm down. I'm feel a little better than I did earlier. <laughs> you feel better now. I did. I was tired when I came here, bro. You guys know what the itis afraid. is? The what? The itis. No. It's it was in a boon, epi- episode of Boondocks, like what you get tired after you eat a fat ass meal, specifically oh soul God, food. I'm but high as hell and I'm tired. As hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this I'm pushing though. Should I? I'm, I'm fucking should I hit that? Right now. I love it. If you hit this, you might not want to go. I'm you know? I I don't smoke. Should disclaimer. Smoke Here, let me see one. Do it to me. I'm gonna get high as fuck, and we're just gonna do this, cause. That's what they did on Folks and Podcast, and I want to be. If you want, if you do, I don't do two tonight. We're already at the forty-five minute mark on this one. We could almost just record a second. All right, we really can do wants. one more on this. All right, one just more know. topic. One more topic. Oh, by the way, I want to let you guys know something. Like, stay with us. Um, there's a reason that we kind of take some of these gaps. Mostly, it's timing and like you know, just life goes on. We all got shit. These people growing. Yeah, we're growing. Making right, life growing. decisions. I mean, how, the way you guys entered right the now, beginning of it, you guys talked about all the new shit you got going on. You yeah, had a lot of shit a lot going of on. Shit. I do got a lot we of do shit. We do got a lot of shit. I do got a lot of shit. I just reorganized. Go follow my artist. Um, that's Tarzan1 on Twitter. I mean, <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, there's Twitter and Instagram. I think Wait. he has both. That's Tarzan. Wait, is it ready? Uh, NDL underscore Kobe. IG. Yeah, did it vibrate? Uh, Go ahead. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, shit. I, I don't smoke. <laughs> NDO Hill Mill and uh, NDO Boss Sleep. So we got that movement going on right now. <laughs> we definitely see a lot of shit going on with us. What we got <coughs> if I just start saying what it is. bro. You didn't need that shit. I knew he was going to start dying. I told y'all he didn't need that shit. Play with your bitch. <laughs> folks need some water. You want some water? Love, folks. I'm like that. <laughs> and then that was like a little smooth. Alright. <coughs> um uh, Crusty lip uh. <coughs> Do you think you can get bitches as a fat dude? Hell yeah, I know hella of fat oh. niggas that get some pussy. I didn't niggas. ask you about them. You. Me, hell yeah, boy. I got Eric. a mouth. My shit know how to talk, nigga. He said he got I'm the mouth. Boss, boss, nigga. I'm high as fuck. What was the you question? think if you was fat you could get some pussy? Yeah. Hell yeah, cause you a what? Why? Cause you a boss, right? Just be confident. As I mean, much confident and be girl. a boss, nigga. I, bro, I if I, bro, I wanted to be fat. That's what's crazy. I always want to have that dad body, bitch, <laughs> laying up on me like, yeah, that's daddy right there. You feel me? I damn near got that right now. I'm still a little something, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to add a couple 15 or something Eric, like that. Eric, you know Eric, that, has to, that has to be the clip for next week. <laughs> bro, I swear to You're God. You're out of control. Or Jackson. I mean, if I was fat, I would... It depends. Am I fat, like just straight chubby, never hit the gym, like blubbery fat, or am I no, like fat, like I work out? Bitch, but, like, you're I'm fat, like, like undebatably fat, like not I'm, like I'm not stocky, fat. Like, I'm in not the gym, big boned, but I'm just big. Like you're like a big, biggie, like big. Nigga, I'll be biggie, nigga. On guy, you see biggie was getting that am cutty, I? nigga, cause he a boss. Like you're That's like, not a fuck look, listen, I'll give you, I'll boss. give you a frame. Like okay, you're like six, like, you're like six one. Am I like two, key, like two eighty? Hughes Keys, for example, he's a bigger on, guy, but he not he's even. like not like ch- like he's not like six one. Blubber. My height, damn near one inch taller, and two eighty. You know how fucking fat that is, nigga. That's what I'm saying. I'm You're like fat one, as I'm fuck. I still get some cutty, but I'm saying that's fat as fuck, my <laughs> nigga. You you definitely in the gym moving and grooving. I mean, just, that big. Again, we do love all bodies. Bigger guy, but he don't he don't like. 
fat, fat. I like nobody. He, he just a big dude, but like he's not like you know like bitch. Rubbery. He's fat. Those are two different types of big. <laughs> Keys, I love you to death, boy. But you know you big Keys as a well. big body. That's yeah. He's big. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm some saying. He's like six. He's like six three though. Oversized. Like that's six three. But how? I don't think he two eighty. You think he's two eighty? He's yeah two eighty. Yeah, he's, he's definitely. Yeah. yeah, bro, he's like 6'3. I'm like one. That nigga so is. That, that nigga might be too. I'm going to call that nigga. That's Ask him his weight is. live on the podcast. You're a sicko. I don't know why. That's do. my nigga. I'm going to ask him. That's the fact, hey, man. I was on the compliment side to the key story. I was saying he holds his weight very well. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he's athletic. He's like athletic. Yeah, I've I seen him dunk. He can dunk. I can't look. Like, we're over trying to vouch. Now we're like, I see them. <laughs> yeah. You know, we got a quick um, intermission. Shout out to my to my guy Keys while we're talking about him. He's got his five year anniversary with Exchange this Saturday. Yo, yo. So, go tap in, bro. How tall are you? Cuz I got a question. <laughs> I'm on a podcast right now. Follow my like boy six, Life of Keys, six, man. Five. Go tap Follow it. Life of Keys. 6'4. Six, four. Six, four. How much you weigh? Stop lying. Shit, big as hell. <laughs> 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 nigga, how much you weigh, nigga? I think I'm like probably like 330, 340. Dang, see what Damn, I was we were, uh, we were weight. Yeah, I thought we you were. was less than 280. For sure. Fuck no, nigga. Fuck no, nigga. But I still get up. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's what we was just talking about. That's a that's a motherfucking soldier right there. Shout out to Life of Keys, man. I right, love, bro. I'm gonna get at you. Have a good night. Damn, right that nigga three <laughs> oh, Wait, wait, nigga, pause. Pause, 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 pause. Rewind. Oh, take it back. One sec. This man really did. <laughs> well, I love how you try to get off the phone smooth as hell. Like you try to be all respectful after <laughs> he said, Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm fuck with you. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> What you mean? That's my home. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounded like I don't know. You know, he's like, yeah. How tall? Are you? I wouldn't try to hold him nah, up. Nah, I ain't trying to have him hold us up. You nah, feel me? How Two quick questions. How Gotta much answer, you weigh? Let's get going. You well, I think that's perfect. We're going to wrap that episode up. I fuck with all y'all. I love y'all. You're the death, man. It's Tazzy Bands. Don't forget, that's not your baby. That's our baby. <laughs> yeah, coming soon. We got merch coming soon. We got Rick coming soon. We got a whole lot of stuff coming soon. Look out for Indio, man. Indio Promotions coming soon. Like I said, coming soon. We got a whole nother brand called Coming Soon. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's <laughs> Peace out, gang. <laughs> Yeah, you're